Hi I am George from Max Automotive. When you look into someone's eyes, you can tell a lot about them. You see a small part of them, be it a mischievous, sad, childish or haunted look. The eyes are the gateway to the soul, and McLaren's new Super Series car, the 2018 McLaren 720S, has wildness in its gaping eye sockets. The 720S eyes have caused a fair bit of controversy as well. See, they're not like your usual headlights, as they're whacking great holes on the front corners of the car. Now, the internet being the internet didn't like them all that much because in pictures they look a touch ungainly. Its rear, though, is by far his best angle. The design team knocked it out of the park here, though nothing about the 720S screams you go at all. Mercifully, those peepers look rather good in the metal, and they serve an important purpose, cooling. Those holes feed air to the 720S many radiators, so the car doesn't overheat. In fact, the way the car is cooled is mighty smart. In profile, you can see the two huge air ducts that run alongside the doors to feed air to the 720S, almost all, new 4.0 liter V8. And those strakes in the hood funnel air into the car, as well. So while it's not covered in overt holes, it's actually got 15% better cooling efficiency than the old car. Seeing as we're talking improvements over the old car, let's talk performance. McLaren's been flogging the old 3.8 liter V8 for a while and saw fit to give it a spruce in the 720S. This time, it's playing with 4.0 liters and, as before, a pair of turbos. It's based on the older one, sure but it's been fiddled with to produce 720 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque. That's a hefty bump over 650s if ever there was one. The sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 2.9 seconds, and 0 to 124 miles per hour is dealt with in a mere 7.8. It's quick then. So quick, it'll scalp 212 miles per hour if you've got a big enough runway or a big enough supply of bravery pills. While it does so, the engine sings. Some turbocharged motors are muted because of their blowers, not so here. Much like the speed, hearing the noise is addictive. Going fast in a straight line is one thing, but carrying it through corners is another entirely. McLaren's active panel allows you to switch the car's drive modes at will. There are three modes in two areas, powertrain and handling. Comfort, McLaren is for normal, sport, and track all change how the car feels at the flick of a switch. Stick the car in comfort and it rides remarkably well. On rural Italy's genuinely hideous roads, it wasn't as uncomfortable as you'd expect a supercar to be. Other supercars, though, would have surely struggled. Keep the handling set to comfort and whack the powertrain into sport and the car comes alive. Its engine and gearbox are keen to rev higher and higher, to violently change gear and to surge as fast as possible into the distance. The perfect 720S setting is having everything set to sport. The chassis feels taut, turn-in is mildly telepathic and the power is addictive. The speed you can gather, then carry around bends, is mind-blowing. And addictive. It's the kind of pace that makes your cheek pull away from your jaw. There's scant body roll, while the steering tells you what the front is doing in minute detail and the traction control keeps the 720 horses from getting too wayward. For a good road, there's no better way to enjoy it. Its speed is best enjoyed on a track, else some owners may find themselves enjoying some time behind some bars. It's the fourth gear pickup that'll get you. Once you're there and it hits its torque curve, you're doing arrest me now velocity. On track, that's when the 720S gets into its own. Flip all the dials to track, point it at the start line and fly. The ride becomes hard, the steering even finer and both engine and slick dual clutch gearbox are imbued with a spirit of a thousand really irritated bees. It pushes hard, yet is alarmingly easy to drive fast, and it'll stop quickly thanks to carbon brakes. Pitch into a corner, balance the delicate throttle right, 
and when the moment's right, nail it, the car shimmies slightly while it fires you to the next bend. It's nothing short of astonishing how fast it is, even in the hands of a track novice. McLaren knows that a fair few of its drivers will want to track and learn to push their new 720S, so it's built in something called Variable Drift Control VDC. VDC is there to bridge the gap between having lots of fun with the car in track mode and turning all the toys off. Activate VDC in sport or track and you're shown a sliding scale of a sliding car, this sets how far the car will slide before putting you back into line. Don't be fooled though, it's not like the Ford Focus RS drift mode. Drive badly and physics still wins, but use the extra slip to build your limits up to match the cars and soon you'll be ready for some everything of fun. It's a tech heavy, and oddly responsible move.